Today we're going to be looking at my favourite study spots in London, starting off with the Yem Cafe in Kensington. The Yem is a Danish coffee shop specialising in organic and speciality coffee and homemade pastries and bread. Now the Yem is not exactly the cheapest cafe you will stumble across, partly due to its location but also its target audience. Now this difference in price from your average coffee shop definitely has its perks. You are given access to an amazing courtyard as you can see to get some work done if you do fancy doing it outside or if not inside which has a lovely cosy homely feel to it. So to summarise that cafe was beautiful, very quaint, amazing staff as well and they do a gorgeous oat flat white. Would definitely recommend if you need to get some work done in London. So we're on our way now to our second um, study spot. We are in King's Cross, we've just got off the tube. So let's go have a look. So today's study spot is a bit more unconventional. We're going to be studying in the Samsung co-working space located in King's Cross. The co-working space is located just to the right of the building with the Samsung cafe just in front of it on the left hand side. The space has plenty of outlets, which is great for a long session if you need to study and has a lovely backdrop looking over Cole's yard. The working space was extremely busy when I got there, so I would definitely recommend getting there a little bit earlier in the day if you can, or if not, uh, later in the evening. It is open from nine to seven, so that gives you plenty of time to fit in a study session. So all in all, I'd definitely recommend the Samsung co-working space. The area had lots of seating and loads of space as well, so it was very comfortable to get some work done. And I met loads of really interesting people just by the mere fact of sitting next to them to study. So definitely would recommend. So it's a new day, which means a new study spot. Let's go have a look. So today our study spot is another cafe, but a little bit of a different one. So if you get off the tube at Paddington Station and then have a quick stroll down Little Venice, you will eventually get to the Waterside Cafe. Something to bear in mind about this cafe is there is limited seating on the inside. However, I did go on a Monday morning and there was plenty of room, so that was sort of good to see. Also as well in the summer when the weather is a little bit better, there will be plenty of seating options outside. The cafe is reasonably priced and I did have a great pastry there along with my coffee so I would definitely consider this a great spot as well if you do need to get some work done in London. So our final location is the Barbican Centre but specifically the Barbican Library. The Barbican Estate constructed in the post-war period has so many useful facets for getting some work done. It's home to a massive library with a great range of cultural archives alongside also containing a lovely co-working space and cafe as well. What I enjoyed about the Barbican so much was the sheer size of the place really. It offered you so many different places to study, all sort of encompassed and amongst its brutalist and I guess somewhat dystopian yet really intriguing and interesting setting that is just off the tube in Farringdon. So thanks for watching Social Soda, I've been Louis. If you think I've missed any good study spots in London, let me know and I hope to see you on the next video.